Big news coming out of the NBA. Cade Cunningham has agreed to a five-year, $224 million max extension with the Pistons. That's according to ESPN. The deal can reach a maximum value of $269 million and makes him the highest paid player in franchise history. Cunningham has been with the Pistons since 2021 when he was selected with the number one overall pick in that year's NBA draft. Since then, he's averaged 20 points, six and a half assists, and five rebounds per game in three seasons in Detroit. John Gonzalez of the Beyond the Arc podcast joining us now with this news. So Kate Cunningham agreeing to the five-year $224 million max extension with the Pistons. It seems like this is no surprise. What's your take? Yeah, they were always going to re-sign Cade to a max. I think that there are some people who, you know, your mileage might vary on his actual game, but they were pretty much uh, always destined to do this because the alternative is to what? To let him walk and it's a bad team and you need good players. And he is a good player. He had a slow start to last year and then he really got going after uh, October, November, a little stumble. Started limiting his turnovers. He had been a turnover machine to start the year and then really reduced those became a more efficient shooter. He's a good distributor. But the question really, Jenny, is, okay, you max him out, and now what? Because this was a terrible team. Worst record in the NBA last season. They have a new coach now in J.B. Bickerstaff. They changed the front office. In comes Trajan Langdon to run the to run the organization. This is just one piece. They need a lot more around Cade Cunningham. So what else do they need, and what else can they get? What else do they need? The answer is yes. Uh, Jaden <laughs> Ivey is fine. Jalen Duran, he, he's shown some flashes last year. Asar Thompson at the beginning of the season looked like they had really hit on something. But for whatever for whatever reason, Monty Williams decided not to play him in favor of Boyan Bogdanovich for, for reasons surpassing understanding. Uh, and then they go and they draft Ron Holland in this most recent draft, who's a guy, uh, again, mixed reviews on him. Some people thought that they reached for him. Other people think that it could potentially be the steal of the draft. This is a young team. They're going to try to let this young core grow but you know it's going to take time and what can they go out and get I mean they got Tobias Harris they had to overpay him and, and as somebody who watched Tobias Harris up close uh, while he was with the Sixers a very nice man I'm <laughs> thrilled that he's not wearing a Sixers jersey anymore uh, so they're limited here Jenny it's going to take a second for them to figure this out a very nice man is not how you want to be described when you're talking about players <laughs> on the team. Um, now, Cunningham, you yeah. mentioned he will have his third coach in three seasons in J.B. Bickerstaff. He also played, as you said, with Monte Williams, Dwayne Casey. So, so what's the outlook as far as the coaching staff goes and what they can get out of Cunningham? Yeah, that's part of the reason why they decided to change from Monty Williams to JB, right? They didn't think that Monty Williams had gotten enough out of this young core. In comes JB Bickerstaff, who, you know, the wheels really came off for him in Cleveland last year. They ended up tanking their way into the four seed. He didn't leave town covered in glory. And it's gonna be tough for him to to, you know, find any glory with the Detroit Pistons. If he can improve Cade's game, get him to work well with Jaden Ivey and Jalen Duran. That's a nice three-man rotation. Uh, develop a star Thompson and Ron Holland as useful rotational wing players. That would also be uh, a, a nice move, a nice development for J.B. Bickerstaff. But it, yeah, it really is just about development there. I mean, they're not going to win many games. They didn't win many last year, and it's not going to change this season either. So slow and steady wins the race for J.B. John Gonzalez, appreciate your time here on HQ. As we just got the news, Kate Cunningham agreeing to a five-year, $224 million max extension with the Pistons. The deal can reach a maximum value of $269 million, making him the highest paid player in franchise history. And you best believe they'll be discussing this on the Beyond the Arc podcast.